Hello friends, welcome to Vidya's cooking channel. This is Vidya Lakshmi. Today I'm back with a new recipe. I'll be showing you how I prepared a wholesome and hearty chicken stew. I've added mixed vegetables and I've also used a coriander masala to make it flavorful and really delicious. This stew can be paired with Kerala parathas, appams and idiapams. I've laid out all the ingredients required for this recipe. In today's recipe, I'll be using sun pure oil. Sun pure oil is the purest form of sunflower oil for our daily use. I've been using it for six years. I've got mixed vegetables here. I'll be using a variety of vegetables like mushroom, potato, peas, carrots, beans, broccoli, baby corn, capsicum, tofu, and chopped onion. Few veggies I've not cooked. The other veggies I've cooked and reserved. I've not cooked like mushrooms, capsicum, tofu. So these veggies cook faster. I can add it later in the stew. I've uh, washed and reserved chicken. I'll be using coconut milk, the first thicker extract coconut milk and the second extract coconut milk. Coconut milk is always prepared at home. You never buy store-bought coconut milk. I'll also be using fresh cream, bay leaf, curry leaves, coriander leaves. For the masalas, I've used chili powder, turmeric powder, cinnamon, cloves, cardamom and black cardamom. I'll also be using ginger garlic paste and I've used the I've used a coriander masala paste. I'll be showing it to you how I prepared it. So all the ingredients used in this recipe will be listed in the description box below this video or you can click the i card above this video which will direct you to my blog. In the blog I've posted a detailed recipe. I'll be showing you how I prepared this coriander masala paste. For the coriander masala paste I've used chilies, curry leaves, coriander which is washed and reserved, coriander seeds, peppercorns, cinnamon, cloves and cumin. I'll also be using ginger and garlic paste. In a mixer jar, I've added the coriander. I've added chilies, curry leaves, whole coriander seeds, peppercorns, cinnamon, cloves and cumin. I'll be adding ginger and garlic paste with just a tiny amount of water. I'll grind all this into a smooth paste. So this is the coriander masala I'll be using in the stew. Sun pure is the purest form of oil. It's physically refined. What does physically refined mean? They use a water-based heating system to extract their oil. So it retains all the vitamins. They do not use any preservatives or they don't add any additives. The oil is at the purest form and it's very healthy for our daily use. I can highly recommend Sunpure Oil. It's a patent technology approved by Government of India. We have been using it for six years almost and we never had any issues with our health. It is something that I've been purchasing and I've been using regularly. For this recipe, I've heated a handi. I've added two tablespoons of sun pure oil. On medium flame, I'll be heating the oil. Once the oil has heated, I've added the cubed onions. We'll fry the onions till transparent. While the onions are frying, I'll also be adding curry leaves. I'll add the black cardamom. Cloves. Cinnamon. Cardamom. And bay leaf. I'll fry all the ingredients till the onion turns transparent. I'll add the chicken. I'll add ginger garlic paste. Chili powder and turmeric powder. 
I'll fry the chicken for a few seconds. For the chicken to cook tender and faster, I've added salt. I've added the green masala. I'll fry all the ingredients till the raw flavor from the green masala has reduced. I fried this approximately for a minute's time, adding half a cup of water. And the second extract coconut milk. I've just stirred it. Covered and cook the chicken till it's tender. In roughly about 5 to 10 minutes, the chicken has cooked till tender. We'll start adding our veggies. Since I've parboiled and reserved all the veggies, I'll first add the potatoes, carrot and green beans. We'll cook these three veggies in the chicken first. I've stirred and allowed the potato to cook till well done. Once the potato has cooked till well done, I'll start adding the other veggies. I've added the broccoli, baby corn, mushroom, green peas, capsicum and tofu. You can add any veggies of your choice. The reason I mixed chicken and veggies together, I like the flavor from all the veggies and chicken. The taste of the stew is ultimate. It pairs very well with appams or idiapam. I like the combination of the veggies and chicken in this recipe. Once I've mixed all the veggies with the chicken, I've added the first extract coconut milk. I'll cover and cook until the veggies are well done. At this point, all my veggies have cooked. I just stirred it once, checked for salt and added salt. I'll also tear and add few leaves of coriander. This enhances the flavor and taste of the stew. I've added fresh cream. On very low to medium flame, I'll boil the stew for another minute's time. The cream will enhance the flavor and taste of the stew. Once the stew has boiled, I'll serve it as hot as possible. All the ingredients used in this recipe will be listed in the description box below this video. The same recipe is also posted in YouTube Tamil. YouTube Tamil channel link will also be listed in the description box below this video. For regular updates, do like me and follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter friends. I'll serve the stew as hot as possible. I've garnished it with some cream. We can serve the stew for Kerala parathas, idiapams, appams or even idlis. If you enjoyed watching this video recipe, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more recipes. I'll be seeing you soon with the next recipe video. This is Vidya Lakshmi. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.